you started, you know, so early, you know, working with, you know, in your sister's movies and, and, and stuff like that. It's hard it, working. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> at, what, at what point did you decide, oh, I don't only want to, uh, I don't only want to take acting seriously, but I, you know, I want to go study it. And you, because you at, at NYU and Atlantic Theater Company, mm -hmm. uh, Moscow Art Theater, like you, you really dived in with the craft. But at what point did you decide that's what I want to do? Well, it was all I did as a kid and it was all my friends did as well. It was really our community and our group. Like every every recess was creating our favorite television show into a musical and every Spanish oral presentation was uh, a, we made an, we made an, a musical. Like we just, we couldn't stop my, for the friends that I grew up with, we participated in the same summer camp every year, um, where we did three plays every summer and I did ballet. And so it was just something I always did. And there was a moment where as a child, I thought I wanted to be a professional actor and I missed one nutcracker because I did, I missed too many rehearsals. And so my my ballet teacher didn't let me do a Nutcracker performance and it broke my heart. And then I realized at that moment that I wanna be an actor when I'm an adult and I wanna keep being able to do ballet and to play sports. And um, so that lasted three months. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and then it was really deciding about going to college when you start to focus on, is this something I'm serious about? And I do think in high school, I had a, I really learned a lot about um, Russian theater and Russian history and the importance of the theater to the Russian people throughout history. And I think I was able to separate whatever the experience of living in LA within a certain film industry and what, what certain parts of it that I didn't like, I was able to separate that from the um, tradition and history of storytelling that I can, I could like pedantically or pretentiously attach myself to in a way that justified wanting to be an actor. What were your favorite shows that you turned into a musical when you were a kid? <laughs> um, we did, you know, Betty La Fea before Ugly Betty was an American show. My friends and I would watch Betty La Fea on TV and we would pretend to translate it. So we created an entire Betty La Fea musical in Spanish class. So sophisticated. <laughs> I know, my God. <laughs> We thought so. <laughs> we also loved waiting for Guffman so much. So everything was, uh, we stole so many like uh, stool room. Everything was a, like a stool room play on words where we just, we read, we changed all of the words out of the musical at the end of waiting for Guffman for every single history play. We, yeah, that Angelica's window we made into a musical. Were you, <laughs> were you like growing up, like being on the sets of like Full House and your sister's movies or were your parents like, no, you need to be in class, you need to be in school or were they letting you like run around in Paris and all these places that your no, sisters would I be never, filming? Yeah, I never went to the fun places they went during the summertime because I had my theater camp mm. and I felt like I was missing out. Like if they went to Rome, they went to Paris, they went to Australia. I never went to any of those places until I went to them as an adult and I knew that they weren't going anywhere, but my theater camp, I would be missing out on. And so that's why I didn't go. But um, no, I, I think the only times I was really on set was when it was easier for my parents to have four kids in one place after school, <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs>